Second quarter here on Hawk Sports Talk. We'll sit down with uh, one of the players, the freshman forward in Janelle Harrison, and not too far from Cromwell, Connecticut. Depending on traffic, you're probably looking, I don't know, what, 15 minutes maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. About 15, 20 minutes away. About 15, 20 minutes. So let's go back to that thought process um, when you were in high school and what made you decide to stay so close to home? Normally people are like, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go like six hours away. That's what I wanted to do. Like my whole recruiting process, I'm like, I'm getting out of here. I'm going down south, like anywhere. I just wanted to get away. And um, through AAU, we looked at a lot of schools all over, far schools. I looked at a few close ones, and obviously this was one of them, but I wasn't interested in coming close at all. Can you give us some specifics on some schools? Um, that I looked at that were far. Or just who was recruiting you? Um, I was recruited by, well, it's a tough story because I, in the middle of my recruiting, I got hurt. But in the process, I was looking at, or Clemson was looking at me, and I was definitely interested in that one because that was down south. Um, they had a good program. My AAU coach and their coach had a good relationship, so that was one of, like, a big interest. Um, there were a few in North Carolina that we looked at. And um, I looked at a few in Boston, and even that was farther enough for me. I just wanted to get anywhere out of state. And then in state, I looked at this school, University of Hartford, Sacred Heart, and Fairfield. So obviously you had a laundry list of schools to take a look at. The warm weather was really drawing you in, <laughs> and then you ended up coming here. Yeah. So what was it about the University of Hartford? And I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the name Rosati comes along with it, but what, take us back to that moment where you said, "Yes, I'm going to stay very close to home." Um, the, through my whole recruiting process, like if anyone told me what I remembered most, I would just say Coach Riz. Like she was, she recruited me very early, and um, she was just there throughout the whole process. She never pressured me. She just always told me that like this school and her had like very high interest in me, and that she would love to have me, and. Um, uh, the day that I got hurt and it ended my AAU for that season, I actually fell into the chair that she was sitting in in our tournament, and she was there when that happened, and she emailed me and let me know that like she knew what happened and she knew that I would have to get surgery and that that didn't affect any of her decisions and that she still wanted me and that she would like give me whatever I needed and like that she was there for my support, and that definitely like um, was a determining factor that tournament I made my decision and I called her when I got home and told her that I wanted to come and she was so excited and um it was just I just loved like her support and just the way she like she really made me feel like this was home for me and like she's just I don't know she was like a big influence of why I came here we're hearing the voice of uh, the freshman forward from Cromwell Connecticut and Janelle Harrison uh, getting to learn a little bit about her recruiting process so now that you're here at the University of Hartford, uh, pretty touching story. You, you get the family atmosphere. You got a couple games underneath your belt. How do you like college so far? I love it. It's a lot. It's, def it's definitely way different than high school basketball, but um, I love it. It's a fast-paced game. Um, I love my team playing with them. And we've had a little bumpy road, but I definitely think that we're getting to the swing of things and that we have a good future ahead of us. Let's go to the, the first moment where you had a wow factor where, you know, I don't know if it was in the first game against Cornell or wherever it was where you were kind of like whoever you're guarding or whoever, you know, you might be going against, you're like, wow, this person's pretty good. Um, I think that I think that would have happened in Cancun because okay. we played a lot of big teams over there. We played Florida State, Washington State, and Furnham. And um, those were really good players. They were from all over. Um, and we definitely hung with them. So not only was I impressed by their skills, but I was impressed how well that we kept up with them and that we could hang with them. And um, I thought it was pretty cool to, to like, play and stick with the big guys. You, are, you scored over 1,000 points in high school. You guys were able to capture uh, a championship and – you're now parlaying that here into your college sector and obviously, you know, three more years still ahead of you. Uh, but 
how do you think winning a championship in high school and knowing what that taste feels like can help you here in the college sector and eventually get an America East title and move on to the NCAA tournament? Um, I know they're a little different, but um, the one— Champion's like, still a championship. Yeah, and we got there my freshman year of high school, and we didn't make it, and all it did was just like fire us up to get back there and get another one. And now having one, you just want to keep getting more and more. So now being in college, I would love to um, contribute to getting another championship. And since it's like so common here, I would love to be a part of that and um, get some more here too. All right. Well, we appreciate you stopping by the show. Thank you. That's the freshman forward from Cromwell, Connecticut. And Janelle Harrison will take a break here on Hawk Sports Talk. We'll move up a class. And we'll sit down with one of the sophomore members of this Hartford women's basketball team. You listen to Hawk Sports Talk here on 91.3 FM, WWH.